Yo, what's poppin', my people? It's your boy Crooks the Great, aka CTG, back at you guys with another banger of a UFC 5 video. It's starting to get that ring to it. UFC 5 is just around the corner. And in today's video, we're going to be answering one of the most important questions for UFC 5. And I think it's one that everybody wants answered, and that is, will knee and elbow spamming still be present? And will it be a viable way to play in UFC 5? Now, I'm going to take you guys to this interview that these three developers from UFC 5 did do with MMA Junkie, just like in la in yesterday's video. Uh, these are the same three guys. And it was asked, they were specifically asked about the knee and elbow spamming that is in UFC 4. Is it going to be viable to do in UFC 5? But without further ado, let's go ahead and play the clip of the interview. And then we're going to break it down into what it means, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get the answer to it right here, right now on the video. So let's get to it. You just will find out that have changed with the striking mechanics. And uh, based off that, I know kind of uh, this clinch game was somewhat similar to, you know, ground elements. Uh, how has the, the clinch changed? And I think people also want to know, like, you know, uh, some things when it comes to, like, body knee to the elbow combination that I know a lot of people had trouble with last year. Um, look, look, look at him. He, he's smiling. He's smiling because he already knows. He got online and got knee and elbow spammed by John Jones up in the heavyweight and light heavyweight divisions. He knows. He's like, hey. I already got this in the bag. I'm so happy you asked. I'm so happy you asked. What would you say about kind of those two things? Well, the, I'll go with the last, last question first. The, the body, the body knee elbow combination is an interesting one. It's something that we've seen in UFC 4 quite a bit. It's in UFC 4 damn near every single time you play in heavyweight and light heavyweight, but let's get it. Um, I'm glad to say we've looked at it. We fixed it as as best as we think we can but again in, in in our internal competitive testing we we think we fixed it um but then again we'll see what happens when we go live it's always interesting to see what the new meta is when we go live um and in terms of they have finally thank the ufc gods they finally addressed <clears throat> excuse me knee and elbow spamming in a ea sports usc game i don't think you guys understand how happy i am to hear about this that that they at least addressed it is a big step in the right direction because in past i don't think you guys understand how long this has been spammed this has been since usc2 this is going on six years <clears throat> i'm sorry four to six uh, about six years it's crazy, bro, that they, it took them this long to finally address knee and elbow spamming. But that is a reassuring thing to hear, ladies and gentlemen. It's a reassuring thing to hear that knee and elbow spamming will be a thing of the past in UFC 5. Not only did they test it, because they've seen it in UFC 4, it's, it's really prevalent. It's hard to miss a knee and elbow spammer in UFC 4. Let's just be honest. So these guys have probably seen this on numerous amounts of occasions. But then to go in and test it competitively with the game testers is really reassuring because they have really went out of their way to make sure that knee and elbow spamming will hopefully be a thing of the past in UFC 5. So to all you grimy ass knee and elbow spammers, you John Jones players, I'm talking to you. Your time of greatness has come to an end. And I've been saying this for months and months before this game even got announced. Do not play a knee and, a knee and elbow heavy style because once UFC 5 changes or comes out, the meta is going to change. They're going to address knee and elbow spamming. So if you're a knee and elbow spammer, I would highly suggest you learn the, uh, the UFC mechanics and with a quickness because... It sounds like you're going to be SOL once UFC 5 comes out. And it's a great thing for those of us that love competitive playing and actually playing in a non-spammy way because we're tired of having to deal with these guys in UFC 4. I'm just being honest. So shout out to the developers of UFC 5 for at least 
addressing this issue before launch, man. I, I love to hear it because, like I said, this has been a problem since UFC 2. And a lot of these guys, a lot of these so-called elite level strikers, they do this shit. And it's really, really irritating. So I'm glad they were able to address it. Once again, I'm going to drop the link to this interview because it's different than the, the, the one on the video we posted yesterday in the link of the chat. So if you guys want to watch the full thing, there is some nuggets that you could take from this one that were not in the previous interview. And overall, it's just very, very good to listen to what these three guys in terms of uh, gameplay and when they're breaking down what's new in the game, what they have to say. But... That's it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button if you're new, as well as slap that like button. And let me know how you feel in the comment section about knee and elbow spamming being a thing of the past in UFC 5. Are you happy about it? Are you, are one, of you guys, are you one of those guys that's really going to be kind of sad because you had a game plan on how to destroy knee and elbow spammers? But let me know in the comment section if you're new to the channel. And you love EA Sports UFC content as well as any other combat sports content. This is the channel for you. So make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. Because I do post MMA content on this channel daily. But until the next video guys, take it easy. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening. Depending on where you guys are watching this from. And I will see you guys in the next video.